How's it going, bro? So today's video is going to be a sketchbook tour. Uh, this is my first sketchbook I had. This is from December 8th through uh, January 6th of this year. No, December 8th last year to j January 6th this year. Um, this is a regular sketchbook um, you can get from Target. Nothing special. But um, yeah, let's not waste no time. Let's get right into it. This is 75 pages also. So keep in mind for anyone who wants this type, this is a 75, um, nine by six. So nine by six inches. And yeah, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna change the camera view now. So the quality just changed. But anyways, yeah, this is the sketchbook I use. Um, so let's go right into it. Nothing on this side. This is day one. Uh, what day is this? This is December 8th, right? So for this day, I just did a couple of three dimensional shapes and I uh, focused on the, the light source to cast a shadow. Um, light source here, casting a shadow. I was just practicing some three dimensional shapes, some principles like light lines to dark, big shapes to small, general info. So like you want the big picture and then focus on the small details. A lot of people will focus on the small details and then the big picture, but um, you can take a quick glimpse. I think this kind of looks like an orange or an apple. And another sphere, cube. I think this was a wall adapter. So yeah. Same here, sun, light source, light source, light source. And just practicing casting shadows and different things like that um, on this page we have same thing I forgot I drew that it's like a right hand practicing like the inside of different objects around the house like you know toilets and um, cell bars and all that and just drawing different pictures within pictures two-dimensional and three-dimensional so we have a triangle circle square we have a pyramid sphere and a cube some more hand practices, some leg practices. Uh, here we get a little more into shading. This is really nice actually. But uh, here we get into some more shading and focusing more on light source also. Same here, focusing on light source at different angles and picturing uh, what the shadow will look like and what the background will look like. Same here. Did it again, it's a pin, kind of recognize, it looks like a, what's it called? A needle point pin or something like that. I don't know why that, I drew a dog that doesn't even look like a dog. Some more circles and circles. Drew a teacup, pretty nice. Over here, same thing, cube, triangular prism, triangular prism, cylinder, a sphere, a rectangle, a layer of prism. And just practicing three-dimensional shapes is like the most basic thing you can that could help you. A cone, I actually really like this. A pyramids, more pyramids. Uh, here we get into like figuring out uh, big object, big objects. Sorry, and turn them into smaller objects. So we have a taxi, an owl, a basketball hoop. Just breaking down the basic shapes to make it not seem as intimidating. So we have a dog, a cat, a frog. Next couple of days, I just practice my circles and ovals, circles and ovals and shapes, and having a lot, having a looser hand. I tend to have a more tight hand when I hold a pencil. So here I was just loose um, drawing like circles and lines, hatching. Same here, uh, circles and lines, and ovals, and did like at least a hundred of these. So like most of this book is just practice, and that's what I like about my sketchbook. I just use it for uh, practice. So circles and ovals and circles. More circles, it's, this whole page is circles. Circles and ovals. Ovals and ovals, like a lot of these pages, yeah. So if you guys need any help, just, uh, just fill up a bunch of pages with ovals and you'll find yourself a lot easier. So drawing some squares and rectangles with loose lines. Not trying to be perfect, just loose lines. Different angles too, so like you can have a 90 degree, 45, and within those. It's 
some more angles, triangles, loose lines, some more loose lines, practicing just triangles, and get in the habit of just practicing on just random sheets of paper. Just grab like, grab like 10 pieces of paper, grab like 10 sheets of paper, and just draw lines and circles, and fill up like 100 circles. It sounds like nothing, but it actually does help in the future when it comes time to like draw head shapes, you know, connecting circles and ovals. Some more lines and lines and circles. Uh, different angles drawing the ovals and different lines. Same thing here, circles and ovals, as you can see, now we're getting into like head shapes. So like this can be substitute for like a bird, you know, different head shape, different head positions. Same here. I didn't realize how much I drew circles and ovals. I drew a lot of them. It kind of looks like Pac-Man. Uh, here we get into making different shapes, um, combining different shapes. So we have a circle and like just random lines and try to find a curve within them, right? So you would just get random straight lines, but then make a curve and you kind of create your own little, little um, shape. It's quite cool. And then you would go in with a darker, a darker pencil and um, darken those lines to make it look like an actual shape that you just made up. Same here, same here. Connecting lines, straight lines, and then finding the curve where they intersect. Same, same. Kind of drew a random shaded sphere. Felt like drawing it. Same here. Uh, different questions that you would ask yourself, different angles, just different notes. Bird, as you can see, you have an oval and a circle and different lines connected, but curved, you get a basic bird shape. Kind of like the fundamentals, right? Same here, connecting different lines, birds and dog. Don't know what that was, don't know what that was. This was like a bowl of fruit. Same here. Here I just went in with drawing a bunch of shapes and tiny different different sizes. This actually looked pretty nice. Uh, monkey also from different shapes connected. Same here, a bunch of sh uh, shapes connected. Let's make something. Here I was trying to get into human anat and human anatomy. Sorry, but I was figuring out um, how to draw human anatomy just for practice. I'm not trying to take it serious, but it's my first time doing it. Uh, finding the shoulder and the arm, the biceps. I didn't realize, you know, the human anatomy is actually quite difficult, especially the legs. You have the quads and kneecaps and the calves, and they angle out. Practicing more human. Some more. I think I did like 10. Some more. As you can see around the wrist, I would draw just straight lines. Just, just practicing. Here we get into drawing some faces. Um, these characters are weird. Characters, at this point, this was the 12th. At this point, I didn't know anything about proportions or measuring. I was just simply going off of what I knew, which was the basic, you know, eyes, eyebrow, noses. Um, he looks mad, but this is probably my favorite one. Same here, just a random character, random uh, practice. Here we get into the Loomis method. I was practicing uh, different angles and eyes. That's a nice eye. But he just drawing different eyes. I don't know why his eyes are so tiny, but um. Here we get into uh, one point perspective, and this was actually really fun. This, this was a really fun um, little sketch. So you pretty much put a horizontal line, put a random point, and try to angle everything to that one point. It takes a little bit of practice, but I promise it's really fun once you get in the hang of it and it makes everything look like it's stretched out. Like it, this looks like it's stretched out over, you know, a plain, uh, plain field the sun in the background 
find also another light source to cast a shadow even though there's a sun right there i don't know why i drew another sun there what is this this is two point perspective this was really fun so same thing straight line find two points and angle them in different ways right to make it look three-dimensional this was really fun sketch this was december 12th same here and i took that with perspective and just found different objects you could draw so like this looks like it's popping out at you i think it's a water bottle you know different bottles and telescopes to find perspective also really cool i think i might get into that again i don't want this video to be too long so i'm gonna hurry up here we have some more anatomy and some more perspective distance out to distance here we just have a bunch of random shapes random shapes lines and hatches practice this was upside down drew a random reference not a reference um I think it was like a mini tutorial so i just copied it and try to see if i can make something out of it here i'm practicing um some hearts and like mouths that's the ugliest eye i've seen i tried to draw an eye with like i don't know but um other side same thing i think this was a ball not a ballpoint but i think this was like a regular a pen sorry about the audio fell but this was the pen I used, just a regular pen, nothing special. Drawing some lines and finding finding some proportion. I don't know why his chin was so long. This was probably this wasn't that bad, but this was my favorite one. I don't know why I drew the chin so long. His eyes are like so small. Same here. Practicing the Loomis method for the first time. Trying to find different angles. Obviously, it's not the best, but. Um, finding different shades of pencil you have you know 2h h hb b 2b 3b the most common out of all these is the hb this is a number two pencil this is what everyone has i think it's this one right everyone has an hb pencil so everyone can that's the only pencil you really need but these show the different shades you can have if you want light dark this is a random portrait just practice i wasn't trying to be accurate uh, this was a random printout that I found and I was just trying to find some proportions. Once again, I didn't know what I was doing. So I made some notes um, on a sign, finding shadows, and this is my first attempt. Some more Loomis methods. I have a lot of pages. Um, some more Loomis method practice and practice here we have some eyes anatomies of the eyes trying to find some more perspective and some more random off proportionable eye figures there's another trying to copy some this is terrible um, trying to find a portrait uh, I have a lot. I think I'm gonna save the rest for a part two. So I'll, find, I'll finish this page. Here we have some more practice. And two point perspective. This is really nice. So I have a random row. I just put point there, point there, point there. So this town is facing this way and this town is facing this way. And there's a row that goes ahead. But um, I'll finish the rest of these pages. This is a lot. I don't want this video. This video is already like 12 minutes long. But um, this is part one, and I'll film part two and probably post that within the next couple of weeks. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Peace. Or at least in part two. Thanks.